I'm Dana from thebrokeassbride.com and I'm here to talk to you today about my favorite aspect of weddings, baths. Wait, that didn't make much sense, but I'm telling you here that I'm going to teach you how to make a bath soak that you can either use for yourself during the most stressful parts of your wedding planning or you can give as a gift to your bridesmaids, to your shower guests, to anybody in your life really. And it's the most easiest thing you could make very likely that you have the ingredients already in your kitchen, which also means it's broke ass. So what you're gonna need to get started is a container for your finished product. You can use mason jars, you can use old recycled olive jars from the grocery store. I got these from Ikea in packs of four for four dollars, which means a dollar a jar, which means thumbs up from me. You'll also need some regular whole rolled oats, some coarse uh, kosher salt, I recommend looking, if you don't already have these things in your house, at the local co-op or bulk items, uh, part of your grocer, because you can save a lot of money on them that way, and it's more eco-friendly, which is always good. You can have Epsom salts if you like, you can use baking soda if you like. These both add a little water softening agent, they um, are a little bit more skin soothing, like the oatmeal and the baking soda especially are great for soothing itchy skin and helping moisturize. The Epsom salts are known for soothing sore muscles and um, the regular salt is just good for softening the water and adding a little bit more of a relaxative experience for you. And if you want, you can also have essential oil to scent the product with in the end, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, in order to get started, super simple, there's no exact science to this, there's no recipe you need to follow. It's very, just how you like it. For me, I like a good, healthy, heaping handful of oats because I have a little bit of a drier, more itchy skin. And then, a nice serving of salt. I'll do a little more salt, like this. Think about your container size, sort of eyeball it. You can figure it out. And if you have leftovers, you'll just have to take more baths, I guess. Throw in some Epsom salts for those sore muscles from practicing your first dance or whatnot. Or all the pre-wedding exercising you're bound to be doing. I know I did. A little baking soda. Give it a stir to incorporate all the ingredients. Real basic. And you can see, just sort of is what it is. It's not going to be the most beautiful thing, but it's going to be super functional. And then if you want, you can add just a few drops of oil. A little bit goes a long way, so really be judicious about it. Just add a couple drops at a time and then sniff it and check it out. If you need a little advice on oils, I recommend lavender for a more relaxing experience. Uh, grapefruit is a really great energizing smell for the bath. You can do anything you like. Jasmine would be nice. Check it out. Mmm, that's really good. I have a tangerine oil in here that smells really, really fresh and bright. So then you just fill your little container. If you're heavy with the hand on the oil, if you like it really potent and pungent for your aromatherapy, you might want to leave your mixture in the bowl a little while to dry because it will harden in your container and you don't want to try and pour your soak into your bath and have find out it's rock hard. And once you've filled it, just put the lid on. And if you're gonna give it as a gift, you can do a couple really small things to just give it that little extra punch to show that you made something special for someone you love, like adding a square of fabric over the lid and tying it with some kind of ribbon. I also made this little tag by using a craft punch from the craft store. This is a great little thing to have around for pretty much any gift giving experience. And then you just tie your ribbon around. How delicate. I love this twine, it lends a little rustic touch, makes it feel very homemade. And then, et voila! You have a perfectly adorable, relaxing, and inexpensive gift to give to anybody, especially yourself. Thanks for watching, I'm Dana from The Broke Ass Bride. For more information, click the links or send in any requests you have to requests at mahalo.com. Take care.